another video. In today's video, I've got some tips here, and we're going to be doing a gel polish set of nails using some Ohuhu markers. Ohuhu. <laughs> Gorgeous decals. Look at these happy camper decals. These are new to the Nail Sugar website. There's also some other ones on there as well. So go and check them out. I'm going to be using these today. Aren't they cool? They're way cool. <laughs> and these are the markers sets that I'm going to be using. I know you're thinking markers on a nail, but yes, 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 yes. These are um, the Ohuhu Aqua Natural Brush markers. And you get like a really nice aquarelle water color kind of look sort of um but i'm going to be trying them out on nails um i saw karen uh karen karen hyder reese if you haven't followed her go and find her on on, I on instagram on youtube go and find her these are the swatches by the way she done something similar using their alcohol markers i'm going to use their water-based markers i've got loads of their markers actually <laughs> i love them um this is all the colors you get in a set you get 36 they are, yeah, I said they're water-based, didn't I? Yes, I did. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. My brain is blocked. What was I going to say? I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> um, if you screw the top, this is, I think this is where you refill them. I'm not sure, to be honest. But they've got like this brush tip nib thing. I, I just love, I, oh, I love I love them. Right, so back to the nails. We're going to be using Riverwalk. If you don't have Riverwalk, you can use Perfect White. These are from Madame Glam. You can get 30% off using my code NATMUG30, FYI. So what we're going to do is two nails. We're going to cover in two coats of the Riverwalk gel polish. Each layer of gel polish will need a 30 second cure. In, um, in an LED lamp. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> right, we're gonna need to velvet matte top coat these nails because we we need the we need this we need the nails to be matte because we won't get if they're shiny, you won't get the same look, the same effect. I'm not quite sure what the word is. The the shiny will be too slippery for them though. So yeah. What I'm doing is this is all kind of, I've never done this before, so don't come at me if it doesn't work. <laughs> but I'm taking several of the colours that I think would be quite nice for a sunset scene. And I'm just trying to, right, normally if you used water-based markers, like water markers, then sometimes I've seen a people put water onto the paper and then go over that wet kind of paper, watercolour paper with the marker. But I, I'm putting the marker on and then I'm going to take the water and kind of do something blend it i suppose but i'm i'm adding to my sunset i've got like a pink and a lilac and a pepper oh this is one of the water brushes this isn't actually an ohuhu one this is actually an arteza one so don't tell ohuhu but it's just one that i had right next to me filled up with water so i, I couldn't be bothered to go and fill up my other one <laughs> but they work the same they're kind of the same they you get water that comes out the end of a brush and you yeah put the the water on the nail or the piece of paper i don't really know i don't know i was winging it <laughs> but on my on my sunset i obviously wanted the sunset colors and then at the very top i wanted it to be a bit darker but the yeah i was just literally going in and out with the colored ink and the water brush and then i yeah, I don't really, I don't even even know how to explain how I did it because I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but there, you can see I've, I was trying to kind of make the the different colours look almost like I wanted, you know, like when the, the clouds, you get different kind of pinks and stuff in the clouds. I was trying to do that. And then I was trying to work. I try, if you have a look in a minute, I kind of like start to rub out an area of the orange with the yellow to create the sun here. Like this bit here. I wanted this to look like there was a sun coming, actually setting. And yeah, and it was, but the markers are really, I love the markers. 
I've been using what do what else did I do with the mark oh with my other watercolor markers not actually these ones I I done a picture like a reef if I can find it I'll have to stick it in here but that was actually done on proper like watercolor paper that was on my ohuhu hoo pad I think or it might have been a different watercolor pad I don't know but yeah they're they're lovely they're fun to work with <clears throat> or to play with but I'm not an art expert so you know I, I wouldn't know if they were better than you know you know I'm just waffling now because I'm just sort of showing you me trying to do this sunset the other nail I'm gonna actually do two nails like this similar um, but the other nail I don't really show you me doing that otherwise we would have been here for probably the rest of your lives <laughs> it seemed to take that long but it was just me being finicky and over you know I overthink things sometimes and actually yeah I, and I'm a faffer aren't I so I'm an overthinking faffer <laughs> but there I think I've almost done now am I what am I no back in with the orange oh this was a different even though it's yellow this was a slightly different yellow but yeah okay that is that is it I think yes we're done right so you don't need to do anything with that it just it just sort of air dries and it air dries pretty quickly and because our matte top coat is porous it kind of sucks up the water so it's yeah it's pretty quick so we're going to do something on this nail and it's going to um it's the, the sunset's going to kind of follow on from the other nail as you can see there and then i'm going to pick or i'm not picking her off i'm cutting off one of these little camper vans i love them right now i'm gonna yeah so it's gonna go there I'm going to cut around the excess of the actual camper van itself and then what i'm going to do is some people i'm going to put this on the stamper but oh right we're going to do some black um silhouette images some silhouette work um, this one i'm just going to put um black on the bottom and then the other one i'm going to do a little bit of a kind of like it looks like maybe like a mountain or something but um when i come to apply the water decal um I think some people have said, I can't really remember because I've got a terrible memory, but I'm, I'm going to apply the stamper, the decal with a stamper. So after I've peeled the backing off, I think you can cover that with gel polish and then cure it before you stamp it. But I decided, I didn't think about that until after I'd done this, but I'm just putting down um, a white base for our decal because the decal won't show up very well they show up better on a white base on a white background you'll see what i mean in a minute look you pull this off uh, right you, i've put the the decal upside down on the stamper wet the backing and then you just gotta wait and then it will peel off it'll just it will just slide off not peel um and then you'll you'll see that the decals are quite transparent so they do need um, a white, you can see, look, you need a white background for it. But I think some people now would put the gel polish on the back of the decal, which I should have done because my white little box that I painted on is a little bit bigger than my decal. So it looks a little bit, I'll show you. It doesn't look too bad, but it's got a little bit of, it, you know, you see the you can see the white around the edge. But I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna grumble. I. I still thought it was all right. <laughs> not gonna lie. And I'm gonna matte top coat these because I just feel like they need matte top coating. I couldn't work out if they, if the nail looked a little bit lighter after I top coated it or not, or if it was just me. If I, yeah, if it, I don't know, it might have just been my eyes playing tricks on me. But I thought it might have. It, I thought it might have lightened it a little bit. Could be wrong. But they're going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds. By the way, you can get 30% off Madame Glam using my code NATMOG30. Um, what's that? I missed that. Oh, yeah. I, I wanted to add something else to this one. So um, you, you sh I should do this before I top coat. But because I didn't think about it, Karen actually said, oh, the palm trees look really nice behind the camper vans. So I was like, oh, yes, we're going to add the palm trees. And I hadn't realised I didn't, I haven't used the palm trees yet. So I'm going to, I'm adding the base coat to give me a tacky layer because I need a tacky layer for the decal to stick onto. So pretend we hadn't top coated that nail. Um, pretend this is the tacky layer of gel polish 
but if you do go ahead like i did and accidentally top coat before you decided that you yeah you know then you can just apply base coat to give yourself um a tacky layer but do remember you are adding layers so it might create bulk to the nails if they're short then you you'll probably notice it a bit more than if they're not short so because these are black um silhouette palm trees we don't have to worry about filling the the back in you see what i mean but we are going to have to just put some black um gel polish at the bottom because the trees were a little bit shy of the ground so there was like a gap between them so we're just going to cure that and then i've top coated that and i think that looks so much better that just i was like yeah that's perfect that will do nicely right then i'm going to use lemon pie and bright barbie pink to finish the set so I do, uh, later on, I do add crystals, but, oh yeah, I just was trying to show you that these colours kind of, uh, they went nicely with the sunset. So I, I kind of wanted to pick colours that would, yeah, tie in with the sunset. That makes sense. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Um, right. So you'll, you'll notice that I've actually got five nail, five tips. I'm doing five tips right now. Um, but at the end, there's only four. <laughs> I'll tell you for why. So I do two nails off the lemon pie. Um, that one is really uh, pigmented, so make sure you keep your layers thin because you don't want to wrinkle. So there we go. Look, I'm going to do two coats of those. So we've done two coats now. And then I wanted to add some Dazzle Glitter Pixels to one of the yellow nails. I just thought it was just something a little bit extra. These are absolutely beautiful. I love them. Um, I was going to put them on, on a pink and on, on a yellow. Um, the pink gel polish that I've got here doesn't have much of a tacky layer, so I would have had to have put the, um, I've, I would have put some base coat over that to, to give it, to give the glitter pixels something to adhere to. Um, I actually decided not to put any on the pink. I did just quickly swatch the glitter pixels over the pink before I applied them to the, uh, the actual nails itself um, and it looked much nicer over the yellow than it did the pink so I decided not to put any on the pink but I'm just burnishing this into that tacky layer of base coat now um, for this this color had a quite a nice tacky layer so I needn't have really used base coat but sometimes I like to use a base coat because it just means that I can get extra glitter on sometimes because it's like base coat has a really really tacky layer and sometimes sometimes some gel polishes do and some gel polishes don't it's not necessarily none of them do but sometimes there's you'll get one or two that don't really have it yeah it's weird anyway I'm, I'm just going over with some base coat just to smooth this off you don't have to use base coat you can just go straight in with a top coat um but I, yeah, and then I am actually matte top coating this, right? You can see there's a lot of green in it now. If When it's shiny, um, there's, you, it's picking up quite a lot of green. But once we've matte top coated it, pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds. And look, it's you've just got this, where the light hits it, it's just this orange like shimmer, which looks really nice with the sunset as well. See? So it kind of picks up that orange from the sunset. I do want to tell you, you can get 10% off the nail sugar decals and the glitters using my code NATMOG10, FYI. Um, I will leave nail sugars, I'm just top coating these two as well, just to finish them off. I will use nail, um, sorry, I will, nail sugars website and Madame Glam's website and the discount codes will be in the description box below for you to find anyway. Um, so I do add crystals to one of the, to the yellow nail, that, that last yellow nail. And I didn't like the design. I felt like it went much better without crystals. So that is why a one nail magically disappears. <laughs> it's not really magic. <laughs> I just took it away because I didn't like it. So if you're going to recreate this set, um, yeah, just just do a, a, another yellow nail. But this is the this is them finished. I really like them. Grab yourself some Ohuhu markers. Do some nail art with them. <laughs> thanks for watching i hope you liked this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it's completely free and you can always change your mind later god bless love you lots and i will see you all in the next one